Hello, welcome back to uh, my channel. My name is Jane and I am here today with a 10 week post-op update. That's 10 weeks ago today. I had all on five dental implant procedure. Um, 24 teeth extracted that day. Lots of bone grafting done. My lower um, implants were placed uh, with the temporaries. My uppers were placed, however, could not add the temporaries to those at that time. Um, they need to heal. So right now I have a denture on the upper. Looks good, I think. Everything's going really well. I had a dentist visit uh, with my surgeon a few, like last week, last week, I think. And, um, Everything is going great as planned. Um, I'm healing, so that's the most important thing. And we're just moving right along. I can speak better, I can eat better. Um, he did give me the go ahead to use adhesives. So I started doing that a couple of days ago. They did a soft reline of the upper denture when I was there. And then he told me to wait for a couple of days until it hardened. And then I could go ahead and start using some type of adhesive. They gave me a sample. He said, don't buy any because you're not gonna need it for very long. That made me happy. I do have an appointment on January 20th to um, go back in 7 a.m. January 20th. And he expects on that day to be able to go ahead and place my temporary um, prosthesis on the top. So that's very exciting for me. However, as I spoke in previous videos, I'm super nervous about that procedure. It could be as simple as um, just finding the right place for him and punching through the gums to uh, put the posts in and put the um, implant, uh, the prosthesis on. Um, or it could be as complicated as opening up my upper gums com pretty much completely. Um, placing the implants, making sure everything's healed, placing them, and then uh, stitching me back up again. So I hope that that is not what the outcome is. So think positive thoughts on that for me, please. Um, other than that, things have been going really well. Um, we've just had the holidays and that was good. Um, one thing I did want to touch on is, you know, early on after my surgery, I lost like 15 pounds um, almost immediately. So within the first week, I lost 15 pounds and that was because I couldn't eat anything. And then I was like, okay, well, that's no good either. So let's try and make sure we're getting protein shakes and all that in. So I did that and I also, you know, start eating things like mashed potatoes with butter, um, macaroni and cheese, ice cream, um, pasta, Everything that you can think of that is a soft food is fattening for the most part. I mean, hey, give me some comments in the, in the comment section if you know some stuff that is, you know, really um, low calorie, but, and, and, and tastes good because, you know, with the upper denture in, um, it's on my palate. So, um, you know, tasting stuff is very difficult. Now I can put, eat a cookie. Um, I can put a cookie in my mouth and just kind of let it dissolve a little bit and eat it. Um, you know, I can dip it in my coffee in the morning and eat it. But my point here is that I gained weight. And just as rapidly as I lost it, I gained it. And then a little bit more. So I'm really, really um, focusing now on uh, making sure that my eating is better that I'm not um, indulging in those other foods, uh, high fat, high calorie uh, foods. Um, I did go back to the gym. Today was my first day. I have had some anxiety over that as well. I do a lot of boxing and have for years. And I also do like a um, group fitness type situation as well as weight training on my own. Um, and I don't know why, but I was just really apprehensive, nervous. Um, I had a bit of anxiety over it, but it went really well. Everything is fine. Um, I had that adhesive in and nothing moved around. They didn't pop out on me. I did notice that um, 
you know, clenching a little bit with my jaw. I had some jaw fatigue and a little bit of soreness, but um, my body's gonna be super sore. So I don't think I'm gonna notice like, you know, how sore that my mouth is. Um, it went well, it went really well. When I get the upper temporary prosthesis placed, I will go ahead and make sure that I get a good mouth guard made. Um, well, I'll probably make my first mouth guard or have my um, surgeon make it. And then um, when I get my permanent prosthesis, uh, the zirconia ones, I will go ahead and get um, a custom uh, mouth guard made because I do have a tendency, even when I'm lifting and I, I try to do some heavy lifting as my back will allow, um, I have a tendency to really clench down hard. And of course, I'm not trying to mess up those um, teeth. So that's about it on that front. Um, I've been watching a lot of other folks. I've had some people comment on some of my videos, so that's kind of exciting for me. I like to engage and if anybody has questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, I don't know how to get myself out there anymore, but I, I continue to try. So if you um, want to subscribe, please do that. If you want to tell somebody else about my channel, um, I would appreciate that as well. If you have any comments, uh, let me know. You can uh, review my other videos for more information. I think the next video I make, I'm gonna put some, uh, make some notes on it, but I wanna kind of go over like the emotional um, situation of um, having surgery, what it, how I felt going into it, how I feel after it, um, how it felt to me to, to know that all of my teeth were being extracted. And I guess probably the, the number one thing that I worried about was like my front teeth. I didn't want to see myself without front teeth. And that was really upsetting to me. And I, I avoided looking in the mirror for a long time. Um, but now that I have, you know, obviously for a couple of months now, I'm okay with it. Um, I did notice this morning though that um, this area is wrinkled. It always has been. Um, I have Botox on the upper portion of my face, which I think is looking really good. Um, the wrinkles are pretty much non-existent. Um, I had some really deep wrinkles on my forehead and those are uh, pretty much gone. I mean, in this lighting, which is horrible lighting and I shouldn't be in this place, but it is what it is. Um, you might be able to see them a little bit more, a little more exaggerated, but I'm, I'm not liking the way my face looks. And I did speak to my surgeon about that. And he's going to give me some more fullness right here to kind of um, fill all this out, you know, fill it in. And also the way the dentures sit with the uh, prosthesis, there are, I don't, I don't think you can tell. But they're just straight, straight on, one on top of the other. There's no, maybe if I turn my head, there's no um, overbite, which most people have, you know, a bit of an overbite. And that also will um, fill out your face a little bit. So when we um, make the final version, we're going to work on that. Um, he wants to push my top, top teeth out some so that you know, are not hitting, you know, exactly top on top, top on bottom, but I have a little bit of movement there. And that's gonna fill things in a lot. I'm really worried, and maybe profile picture is better. Um, really worried about this area here, um, below my nose, right here. Um, I can feel it, that it's like nothing there anymore. And that's um, worrisome to me and upsetting and, um, you know, I spent a lot of money and I'm trying to make myself um, obviously healthy by doing this, but I also want to make myself look nice. And I can't even tell you the joy I get when I see some of the pictures now. Um, I took pictures with my family over the holidays. Um, I typically, I take a picture just about every day because I'm just trying to kind of document for myself uh, how, how, how it's changing. And I want to put some of those together like before and after. It's like one week, two week, three week, etc. Um, 
so that I can post that as well and you can see the difference. Um, so I need to work on my editing skills for that, but uh, it's important for me to uh, feel like I look nice as well. So more, um, we'll talk more about that at a later time, but I'm glad you joined me. I hope you made it to the end of this video. I know it's a little bit long, um, but until next time, I'm out. Thanks.